welcome to our program on shingles. Um, and we'll just start. So it's shingles is a herpes zoster virus that is the same thing as um, when you get the chicken pox, the same exact virus. So what is it? It's a painful rash that usually develops on one side of the body along nerve pathways is what it follows because it is a nerve, you know, it's in your nerves. And um, often on the face or the torso. And the rash consists of blisters that typically stand <coughs> over in seven to 10 days and that will totally clear up in two to four weeks. And that is a picture of a rash. Um, it, it shows up a lot better on the computer. Mm -hmm. So that looks a little blurry, but you can see the raised blisters and they're all close together and uh, it's very painful. And these are the places where the rash, where the rash often occurs um, in a single stripe around your body on either one side or the other. It won't be on both. Or even the blisters develop, itching, burning, a tingling where these things are going to pop out. Uh, and you'll feel these symptoms one to five days before you actually see a rash. So another other symptoms are fever, headache, chills, upset stomach, and um, it can affect your eye and cause vision loss. So almost one in three people in America are going to get shingles. And there are one million cases a year. Uh, anyone who has recovered from chicken pox may get, sh may get sh shingles, even children. But you can't get shingles in what, if you never had chicken pox. Then you will get chicken pox first. So it's caused by the same virus as chicken pox, which is the varicella zoster virus. And the virus remains dormant after chicken pox and can reactivate later in life. Because what a shingles is, is the dormant virus in your body coming back out. So as we get older, our risk increases for this to happen. And people with medic medical conditions that affect their immune system, like uh, lymphoma, leukemia, and uh, AIDS, um, <coughs> HIV disease, um, are more susceptible. And people on immunosuppressive drugs, like say you're on prednisone, that's suppressing your immune system and your inflammatory response, and that can make you more susceptible. Um, drugs or steroids. Um, and most people who develop shingles only have one episode uh, in a lifetime, but you can get it more than once. So even if you get it and it goes away and you're all right, you're like, ooh, I got that over with. Not necessarily, you can get it again. So for a second and third time. So uh, there's pain with shingles, and it's described as an intense burning sensation. Uh, for some, the pain can last for months and even years after the rash goes away. And um, long-lasting pain is called post-herpatic neuralgia, uh, PHN. And it's most common. It's the most common complication of shingles. And then the ri uh, the risk for you having that after effect increases with age. So, and I've known people that had shingles when they were in their thirties. So, uh, so how to treat shingles? See the doctor. There are antiviral medications. 
uh, that may help the symptoms and uh, help it to be milder and of a shorter duration. That's acyclovir, valacyclovir, and famcyclovir. Famocyclovir, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. And cool ice packs and floss help. Um, calamine lotion to the blisters. Uh, and don't pick the blisters because the fluid inside them is contagious. So, uh, uh, and uh, not contagious before or after the blisters heal. So until that, that um, rash erupts, you're not spreading it around. But as soon as you have that rash, you're infectious to people, and you can be. So the only way to reduce the risk of getting shingles and PHN is to get vaccinated. Uh, the CDC recommends that healthy people ages 50 or older get two doses of the shingles vaccine. The new one is two doses. And um, that was approved um, at, at Shingrix, and it was approved in 2017. Previously, people were given um, Zostavax, and that was one shot. So this can still be used for prevention in those under 60s, 60 years old, uh, people with allergies or those requesting uh, something right away to protect them and they can't wait the one shot and then wait the period and get the second shot to you How know, long have is some the kind of in between? I think it's uh, the two doses should be two to six months apart. No kind of all right, Shingrix is more than 90% effective in preventing shingles and PHN. Uh, Zostravax used in, over, in those over 60 reduced the risk by 51%, and, and it reduced the PHN by 67%. So the Shingrix is definitely a big improvement in the numbers. Look up. Right. Yeah. All right, so uh, who should get Shingrix? Healthy adults age 50 and over. If you have had shingles, you should get it because you can get it again. If you have received Zostravax, though sh you should wait at least eight weeks before you uh, have the other one, and you should talk to your doctor about it. And then if you're not sure if you had chicken pox, which most people kind of know they did. No, no, we went to chicken pox parties. Yeah. Well, measles, yeah. mumps parties. I remember being sent over to kiss somebody with German measles. Mm -hmm. You know, so that we would all get it before we were teenagers because it was worse yep. the older yeah. you got. Yeah. And uh, and we were, we lived to tell about it. Here we are. And I remember the bumps when I was five. One side and the other side. I had it twice. So I had chicken pox when I was 14. I had German measles. We, so you we couldn't escape the chicken pox when you were little. Sometimes you forget if you had it or not. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, because it was probably itchy. And, right. And you didn't pay And if you picked to one of those scabs. things, you yeah. ended up with a little yeah. bit of a yeah. scar. Yeah. Yeah. A scar from it? Yes. Yeah. 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 So um, there's no maximum age to get this um, vaccination. And there's no specific time to wait for uh, the vaccine after having shingles. So if you had, you know, your shingles, uh, but you should, the rash should be gone. So who should not get this vaccination? People with an allergic reaction history to any component of the, a vaccine, any vaccine. And if, if tested negative for immunity, to uh, the varicella zoster virus, in which case you would get the chicken pox vaccine. Because we will, would test 
positive for immunity to chickenpox. We'll never get chickenpox again. We already have it. What if you have it? Then you can get. Then you're going to get that and not shingles. You can't get shingles if you never had chickenpox. So can you have, get a vaccine for the chickenpox? I think they have a chicken, they have a chickenpox yes. vaccine. Yeah. 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 Did you never have chickenpox, or you don't immune. know? They would probably check you, mm -hmm. check you uh, for immunity. I know my brothers had it, but I think I was I wasn't born at that uh, time. Uh huh. So I know that they had it. Yeah. Um, you should not get it if you currently have shingles, if you're breastfeeding or pregnant, and if you have a temperature of 101.3 or greater. So here's the side effects that we wanted to know about. Um, they're similar to any other vaccine. Your arm could be sore, red, inflamed. Um, you can feel tired, have the chills, fever, stomach pain and nausea. Um, the side effects are more common the younger you are, which kind of seems backwards. Mm -hmm. You know, usually it's the other way around. Uh, serious side effects and allergic reactions are very rare. That's one to two people out of a million. Uh, but if they occur, call 911. That would be hives, throat swelling, uh, trouble breathing, a rapid heartbeat, dizziness, weakness, those are serious things you want to get to the ER. And uh, the vaccine does not contain the Marisol, which is the mercury. So payment, Medicare Part D covers, but there may be a cost depending on the plan, like a copay or you pay in full and then they re reimburse you. And Medicare Part B does not cover it. Uh, Medicaid uh, may or may not. Maybe it depends on your overall health, what they feel, you know. Uh, you know, if you're immunocompromised, they might want you to have it. Um, private health insurance, many will cover it, but you have to check with them. And. Uh, there are vaccine um, assistance programs. So GSK is GlaxoSmithKline, the drug company, and they're the ones that make this vaccine. So uh, in order for them, they'll assist you if you, if, you, know, you qualify. So you have to have no third-party coverage for vaccines or be enrolled in a Medicare Part D prescription drug plan and have spent at least $600 on prescription medicine through your Medicare Part D prescription drug plan during this calendar year. So you go get the shot in December, right? When you know you spent the most money for that year. Um, you have to be age 19 or older. And you have to live in one of the 50 states, District of Columbia or Puerto Rico, and not be eligible for Puerto Rico's government health plan, Mi Salud, or have applied and been denied. And uh, there is no, there is a household income criteria. Because I, I think that I've heard, um, has anybody heard of anybody getting this shot and how much it was? I can. To, I looked Long into the price. Oh, what was it? Um, first, you have to spend your um, your deductible. So, uh -huh. say your deductible is three hundred dollars for the year. So, depending on that, and then it will be um, a tier four, which is the most expensive uh -huh. tier. So. For me, it was going to be around $400, $450. See, this is what I thought I heard, and I was afraid to throw the number out there. Yeah. Is that for, for me, sure? so that's for the... Now, for I both did not one. ask about the two-shot. Yeah. I asked about the Shingrix vaccination, oh, all right. and I'm on, on the Fallon Part C Advantage plan, so 
Yeah. Um, I forgot to ask about that because it is a two shot. Uh, I checked. I don't know. Well, he's got it here preferred last yeah, year, and yeah. I figured for my husband and I to get it, it would be something like six hundred dollars. So. Or like four hundred each. It was, uh -huh. it was pretty. It, it was very expensive. But yeah, I don't know it's not two cheap. shots. It's not, it's not cheap. cheap. So this is um, the income for uh, GlaxoSmithKline to uh, consider you for their assistance program. So. Who is, what household of one has an income of $2,500? I mean, where would you be living if that was your income? Well, what about a family of four for 5000 I know, you'd be out in the little dog house out in the yard. You'd be in the tent. Really? You, yeah, you'd be living on the street. I don't get this, so yeah, and I, month, I, yeah. I don't know. That's probably monthly. That's monthly. Oh, a month. Oh, all right. right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it does. It says monthly right on it. Okay. Oh, good. Thank God for your short lives. <laughs> all right. Is that, that's that's poverty yes. level, isn't it? A if month. That is monthly, yeah. Oh, it really? would have to be, I think. One person, 2,500. I don't think that's poverty. No, that's not poverty. No. Well, that would be uh, 24,000 a year plus. Yeah. You know, uh, 30 grand a year, I think, is right. roughly it works out to, right? Yep. So that's not poverty for one person. No. 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 So that's that end of it. And that's the end of it. <laughs>